all you have to do is to select both walls or what if we wanted to do this one as well select them all and then we would go to the roof floor line drop down here and then we would modify roof line once you click on that we would select auto project and then we select the roof as our boundary once we do that we hit enter and just like that all of those walls would be projected up to that roof and if we take a look at this in perhaps realistic this is what we have that would be your uh, barn roof not the prettiest thing for this particular house but <laughs> why don't we go ahead and take a look at gambrel this one is also known as barn roof typically seen on barns if you have one of those in the country so this would be your initial step we have a simple hip roof but the first thing we're going to do is to convert this into a gable roof all we've got to do is to grab the handle right in the middle here move it out and click somewhere in the space out here and we would do the same on this side so i would click here move this out and click and just like that we have a gable roof and so if i come into my 3d view you can see that we have a gable roof the only thing that is left is for us to add an additional slope to this side as well as this side so what we're going to do is i'm going to go ahead and click on the roof and we're going to do edit edges here and we will pick both edges so we pick this one and this one and then we'll hit enter so for the first edge we're going to add another one here your lower slope is typically steeper again maybe a 75 degree or maybe not so much maybe 65 degrees and then your upper slope would be shallow so maybe a 30 degrees uh, we would also change the height of the upper slope which is this one here and we could say all right let's make this i don't know three feet again and for the second one we will do the same thing we add another face and we come in we make the lower slope to be uh, 65 degrees and then we change the height on this to be three feet as well and that's it once that is done we're going to hit ok and just like that you'll see that we have multiple faces on either side of the roof and if you turn it around you'll see that uh, this is what we have now for a roof of this type you'll notice that it is uh, thicker here and then it starts to get slim here and that's because of the edge cut that we're using typically we would use plum but for this scenario i would turn this to square just to keep everything consistent 